to add a little extra mm to it, <laughs> top it off with <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Previously on Hey Neighbor, we discussed Brazilian keratin treatments featuring Xeron hair care, talked about flat irons and quality versus cost, featured A plus ozone wigs with blogger Mary Kay Bella, and explained how to contour your face. Lastly, we tested Second Nature Mask with our viewers. Hey neighbors! It's your neighbor Nichelle. And your neighbor Roy Beauty, and we're back with our fourth episode. Hey, we started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> yes, it's crazy to believe that we started this over the summer, and now we're at our fourth episode, thriving, doing our thing, having a good time. Thank you all to, who have supported us so far. Yes. Um, but if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's important so you don't miss all of our fun episodes, especially since We've got all the exclusive products, hair products, makeup, extensions. We've got guests coming, some of your favorite YouTubers and vloggers. So if you don't want to miss it, you know what to do. Exactly. Yes. And speaking of knowing what to do, you guys know that we know the best trends for 2019, okay? Right. And we have them all here for you. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about some of the hottest trends coming out in 2019. Right. And the first being some products from Kiss Cosmetics, who is right. giving us a glitter tease yep. in 2019, yep. okay? <laughs> then we're going to be talking about some trend-worthy brushes from Black Pink Cosmetics. Yes. And we're going to be talking about my favorite edge control in the game yes. right now, y'all. I know I mentioned it one. to you last you have, year, yeah. but we have it here today in its, its first touchdown edge tamer. It's good. And lastly, for my men, you know I love my men. <laughs> We're going to be talking about beard oil to keep that beard looking nice and sexy for 2019. Yes. Gang, gang. So make sure you stay tuned to the fourth episode of Hey Neighbors. Hey Neighbors. <laughs> Okay, Royal, so it is time for my favorite part of the show, yes. which is Hail or Fail. Yep. And if you guys know anything about Hail or Fail, we give you three looks every week. Mm -hmm. And if you like the look, you rate it a hail. And if you don't, it's, it's a, a fail. fail. Okay? You know I'm going to tell you. Yes. So <laughs> let's get into the Hail or Fails of the week. All right. First one, Miss. Ice me out. Yeah. Ice me out. <laughs> Cash doll. I love okay. It. What are you thinking it's about? It's cute. You love it? I love it. It's a color. double hail. It's a double <laughs> hail. Cash doll, you could do no wrong in my eyes, girl. Like, all I wanted was you for my Listen. birthday, but it's okay. It's okay next year. Next year. Next 2020. Year, right? Sounds like Cash doll for my birthday. Yes. But let's move on. <laughs> Okay, Takashi 6 ix 9 girlfriend. Her name is Jade. I just learned that today. Yes. Because I only knew her as Takashi 6 ix 9 girlfriend. This is my first time seeing her, but her hair look good, though. Okay, her you hair like it. Looks good. You like yes, it. Okay, like what, are you, what are you feeling about this? I love it. I know a lot of people might not agree, mm -hmm. but I love it just blonde anyway. If she had just kept it blonde, it would have been popping. Mm -hmm. But to add the colors in there, give it a little um. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm okay, here I'm going to give it a hail, too, because yes. I love color and I got my color going on today. Yes, you do, boo. So it's a hail for this look, yes. it's a fail to that tattoo. But that's oh a whole other story. That's another segment. The tattoo, though? Mm, yeah, it's a fail. <laughs> okay, last. Miss Tiana Taylor <sighs> with the faux dreadlocks. Everybody's hailing for me today because Tiana is rocking. She's yes. rocking that look. Mm -hmm. I did a look like this. And they drugged they, me. They were really They drugged me through the butt. Mm -mm. But I liked it. <laughs> I'm totally feeling yes. this. This is a hail for me. Yes, I think like she did the color all the way through, which I didn't. I did have my roots showing, so mm -hmm. I should have sprayed it or something. So that was my bad, but she definitely did, yes. did the look justice. I Flawless love it. Flawless and effortless. And the outfit, popping. Everything. Yes. So if you guys agree with us, definitely leave your comments below. And if you don't agree with us, leave your comments below. What would you have done differently with each of these looks? We yes. would love to know because these are totally on trend for 2019. Yep. So stay tuned for our next segment. Y'all already know what time it is. What time we is it? We got the gifts. We got the gifts. Who got the gifts? We got the gifts. We got the gifts. We got the gifts. Now who want the gifts? Oh, you want the gifts. Oh, you want these gifts. You want these gifts. How do you get these gifts? By subscribing to our YouTube channel. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so I know you're just starting out with crochets, right? Yeah. And you know I love them. Mm -hmm. They're very easy for a hairstylist, so I love when my clients want crochets. Yes. Especially with some good quality hair that's easy to um, put in. Installing is a big, big, big thing. Yes. Um, so yes, I'm really excited to share this new hair with you, okay? Okay. Now, we talked about chemo. We've actually talked about 
Harlem 125's Kima, Kima Master hair. Yes. But it was weaving hair. Yes. And right? It's that blonde awesome pop in. Yes. Inlet. Yes. It's really, really nice and mm -hmm. thick. So I love Harlem 125 because they're always coming up with some great designs. All yes. right. They put a lot of thought into all of the products that they come out with and they take their time to make sure that they put products together that can help. And I love them as a stylist because I can always count on you know, the fact that they put in to think of, put in the thought process mm -hmm. to think of things that can help me and make sure that I can install faster or get the look that I want. Yes. Um, so yeah, so I'm definitely excited about this hair, like I said, because this is Kima braid. Okay. So it's a crochet, I've never used their crochet braid hair before, so this is my first time knowing that Harlem 125 even has um, crochet braid hair. Okay. But this is very unique. I love it because it's very versatile. So you can definitely come up with multiple styles with this. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you, you're you familiar with the passion twist. No. All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to get into that. But first, let me show you a little demo. Okay. So these locks are all 14 inches. They come 14 inches. Okay. There's 12 in a pack. Um, they are synthetic, okay. but they're a mixture of Toya Kalan and Kanakalan. Okay. Hope I'm saying that right. But these are the two types of fibers that you'll hear a lot about or see a lot about when with you go to With braiding hair. With braiding gotcha. hair. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's definitely, you know, those are the two major ones. But rarely do you hear of them being put together to come up with a unique mix. Yes. Which is what they did here. Okay. And why I love this. All right. So you get the locks, like I said. They're 14 inches and you're familiar with these locks and yes. so they look nice and thick. So a lot of people will wear it just like this, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to crochet it in and then show you a little demonstration. Okay. On our little mannequin Let me mannequin wash you again head. because yes. I need to do a convenient and right? easy style, okay? So you find your Convenience all 2019. Convenience. We are talking about 2019 trends. So. Right. So we already know how to crochet, but we're going to, I know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. Mm -hmm. So you get your loop, you got your loop here, you open your latch hook. Yes. And you got your loop here. Oops, sorry, getting caught. I wanted to show you really quickly though. Okay. All right, so you got your loop here. Mm -hmm. Don't mind my nails, they're a little afflicted today. <laughs> okay, so once you loop your hook, hook your loop. Okay. Close it. And then you slide it on through, and it's a little thick, so you got to give it a little tug. There okay. you go. And it comes through easy. Let go. Put that down. You open your hook, your loop. Okay. And then you feed it right through. And it's that simple. It's really simple, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I love crochet. Okay. So now that we've got that in there. All right. So now that I showed you a little bit or told you a little bit about it, I'm mm -hmm. going to show you something unique about this hair. Like I said, um, we split the hair sometimes whenever we're doing hair. Right. And so I really wanted to show you this because when it comes to styling, you want to make sure that the curl is still intact. Okay. All right. That's very important. If you got a wave like this or a curl like this, you want it to snap back. Yeah. The snap back is not real with a lot Ain't of these. Like hairs. a good snap back. Okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. A lot of times, you're not going to get the same curl pattern. You're not going to get it to snap back as um, as nice and full still and still be intact. Mm -hmm. you get a lot of mess. You get a lot of frizz. Yeah. So I wanted to show you this because this is why it's so unique. Okay. So I've gotten my loop in, and mm -hmm. then I'm going to easily. Whoop, no, I'm not. That was that was supposed to be easy. Sorry. <laughs> Got my loop in, right? And then watch how I I'm able to really oh, split. Oh, okay. And With ease. Easy, clean, mm -hmm. no shedding, no it mess. Is still no frizz. Springy. Still bouncy. Okay. And you can also split it again if you wanted to. But for time's sake, I'm just gonna get right to what we've already have split here. Okay. Right? All right, so it's already split. Just imagine it being split already. Yes. Now this is a look in itself. Mm -hmm. Versatility. Mm -hmm. You can have another look like this and have it be curly. Yes. Keep it like this. This is one look. Mm -hmm. Or you can go ahead and actually retwist this, and then you get like a kinky twist. Remember kinky twist? Yes. And Senegalese. Or the spring twist. Or the spring mm -hmm. twist. Now you can actually go ahead in and twist this, and it actually bounces back, and it gives you back another full look. Wow. Right? Wow. Or you can actually okay. twist this. It depends. Okay. You have The point is you have a variety. Ob you have options. options. Right. Okay. Right? And I love this because you can also cut it. Mm -hmm. So once you put it in, you can do different lengths. Mm -hmm. The snapback is real with this hair. And can you braid with this hair as well? If you wanted to, I don't see why not. Okay. So people have options, and you know us YouTubers, we love to DIY a lot of things. Yes. This is the hair to play with. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Always put me on to the new girl. I know. Love it. <laughs>
So, continuing on with our 2019 trend, mm -hmm. we have Kiss Cosmetics here. We're going to be talking about some of their slay trends for the year. Yes. So, Kiss is well known right now for their press-on nails. Mm. And press-on nails are making their way. They're coming on back, you know what I'm saying? So, Kiss is definitely one of the heavy hitters in that area because they have some really nice press-ons. But what people are forgetting is that Kiss has been around for years and it actually has a, they actually have a lot of other products mm -hmm. um, that women love that mm -hmm. we all are very very familiar with and like love. Ruby Kisses yes, which can be like found Ruby at Kisses. local beauty supply stores. Exactly okay. and what's funny is I did not know I've been using Ruby Kisses for years mm -hmm. but I didn't know that it was under Kiss so that is new information to me but yes Ruby Kisses is their baby and they're falling right in line with the new trends. Yes. Um, glitter and holographic are in. Holograph holographic. That's Excuse right, me. Girl. <laughs> Jeez, tongue twisters. But holographic, neons, the futuristic look is in. Yes. And they're falling right in line, making sure that we can get that look. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are going to the salons to get that look, obviously. Yeah. But now you can do it right at home with their yeah. new nail polish. Um, and it is holographic nail polish. It has glitter. So you basically can do this at home. And it's definitely a lot better than the regular glitter that you would get in the local beauty supply stores or any they're usually like the clear ones that you can get okay and you put that one little coat and it doesn't work and you have to put some more on yeah these are definitely stronger um, and they're obviously more affordable so when you go to the nail salon you know you're gonna have to spend a little buck to get yeah, that look it's like they charge me ten dollars per right. nail yes. to get the look yes yeah, so definitely loving Ruby Kiss is coming out with that and like I said futuristic neons holographics are in you can find it on all of the social platforms everybody's rocking it all yes. of our favorite youtubers and vloggers like yes. jackie Ina, um it's my ray ray it's my ray ray okay. uh kim kardashian all rocking the neons and the and way to pop Wynn. it off and when her blogger. feed is amazing yeah, she has a whole neon feed yes going on right definitely now, definitely all right so now that i've told you a little bit about what's going on here i'm going to actually show you guys because you know you guys like to see what it can do mm -hmm. right um they come in six different colors the nail polishes and we have four of them right here in front of us, but I'm gonna pick Mermaid Tail, all right? And this one is really, really, uh, just giving me that futuristic vibe. Actually, the packaging as well gives me the futuristic, I love this, so cute. And I love when um, companies take the time to go into detail, make sure they give us something cute to look at as well, because we got a lot of these. So just like your regular nail polish, I'm gonna go over my pointer here. I'm not sure if Rob you can have zoom in. Skills, girl. You're oh, painting girl. in the air. I'm painting in the <laughs> futuristic. Futuristic. She's already yes. in 2020. Girl gets it done. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're gonna do that one little nail. I'm shaking actually, but it actually looks I love it. Let I love it. it. Okay, so you ready? So I don't know if Rob can zoom in, but as you can see. Oh. I just did a little bit. I didn't even really do a coat like that. This looks yes. like what I paid for, actually. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. And you paid you paid ten dollars for ten dollars per nail. I right? still rock with Don't you look guys. at the rest. That's a little expensive. My nails aren't done. So if you guys want the look for less, definitely check out Kiss. They have the look, the 2019 style trend right here yes. for less, and you can find it in your local beauty supply store. Yes, Ruby Kisses is getting there, y'all. I'm finishing my nails. <laughs> hey neighbors, for today's friendly neighbor tip, top your holographic nail polish off with Ruby Kisses Star Crutch. Mm -hmm. Come on, let me ice you out, girl. Ice me out. <laughs> Ooh, little purple? Yes. Okay. All right. And there's a little dab with the nail. Give me a little, <gasps> little blend. Look at that. Blink it out. In there. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I like this part of the segment because we're going to be talking about something that I definitely need. Mm -hmm. You know, I do makeup. And I do it for myself, for my channel, but I also have clients that I do makeup for. And the biggest and most essential part of doing makeup is the application. And you need brushes for application. Yes. So I'm always on the hunt for something good, affordable. Some of the makeup, some of the makeup brands that have brushes, they can be really expensive. So 
can be a little hard finding yeah. some brushes um, that are affordable. Yeah, and still I've experienced do it. that myself. Yeah, you know I like to ball on a budget. I'm yeah. always we promoting all balling on a budget. We all do. But for my face, I feel like it deserves the best. It you does. know, yeah. but I don't want to yeah. spend too much money on makeup brushes. Yeah. But then I don't want something cheap that's like shedding on my face as well. Exactly, shedding is like a major mm -hmm. with like cheaper brushes, most times you might have the shedding issue. So, like I said, I've been on the hunt for some brushes, right? And okay. I've been trying out new brands. And, uh, you know, I, I talked to Nicole and she had some brushes that were sent, so she put me on to okay. that new She's milk. always putting you on to the <laughs> Like Lauren <low>. London. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we have some new brushes here and these are from Black Pink Cosmetics, mm -hmm. right? Kind of sound like me today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for real. So, they have have an array of brushes, kabuki brushes, they've got a fan brush, they've got a foundation brush, a powder brush, a blending sponge mm. brush. So it's a lot going on over here. Okay. You get everything that you need for makeup application. Um, so I'm definitely excited to share what I have here okay. with you. Um, but before we get into that, I definitely want to touch base on the two different types of brushes that you can get. Okay. Obviously synthetic and you can get human hair brushes. Okay. A lot of people are going to gravitate towards human hair brushes mm -hmm. because they they feel like, you know what I'm saying, you get more bang for your buck, it's, it's better for you, but it actually isn't because you're harming animals, mm. you know what I'm saying? Um, you're, you're dealing with a lot when it comes to the human hair brushes as well. Expense is the major, right? Yeah. But the synthetic brushes are on the come up and we have found some here. So synthetic brushes are actually helpful too because they're easier to clean, Yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're not harming any animals, they're vegan. And, um, which is also good too, if you have a vegan or an animal allergy, right. you don't want to use a human hair brush and because I, it can break out your face. And I definitely have been breaking out lately mm -hmm. and I had to really learn the hard way with some brushes, mm -hmm. um, so that's a major too. Some people are allergic to brushes and don't even know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's a major. Um, like I said, it's easier to clean and you don't absorb as much products you can actually oh, exactly good. save your little bit of coin mm -hmm. yes all about saving a coin honey yes <laughs> oh and easy to clean did i mention easy yes. to clean definitely a big plus because i myself i have to i break out so i definitely have to brush my wash my brushes every week after application make sure they're clean so that over time can cause shedding you have yeah. a lot of issues with that so it's very good for me to not one not only be able to clean them fast and easier which is great with synthetic brushes, but also be able to not have shedding. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna show you guys some of my three heavy hitters from the whole collection, my favorite brushes that I could definitely use every day, so I would probably take them everywhere with me. Um, the first one is the powder brush. Okay. All right. And the powder brush can be used for foundation. You can use foundation if you wanted to, but it's really a powder brush. You're supposed to use it for blush, your translucent powders, like this one here. And this is what this one looks like. Let me go ahead and hurry up and show it to you guys really fast. But look at it, isn't it nice. cute? It's yeah. very sleek, very soft. Mm -hmm. I love that. And a lot of brushes, sometimes you'll soft. get some br some brushes that are very expensive but still harsh yeah. on the skin and yeah. hard. This is super soft, I love it. Mm -hmm. So I know my clients will love this one. All right, and then you have your blending sponge. So that's you're the most important. With. It's to very me, important. Honey, okay, you need your a staple be blending sponge. Very well blended. Yes. Okay. Blending sponges definitely help with blending out your foundation, your contour. Give you, you that finished look. Yes, you can put yes. in your highlight. You can also go in with some translucent powder to set your highlight. Um, so this little area here. But what's crazy, crazy unique? Excuse me. Crazy unique is that it has a handle. Yes. I love the handle. So you would usually have a sponge, but this has a cute little handle and just makes it even easier to dab it. So you can also use this for foundation, mm -hmm. um, your highlight, your concealer, all right, in those areas and blending out. So you definitely could use this. Another staple in my kit. And then my favorite, this Ooh, one here. Okay, it's And this so is your pretty. large fan brush. Yes. I never even used to gravitate towards fan brushes, but how can you say no to this? That one? is that is it's for the so extra huge. girl like me when I just need that extreme yes. highlights. <laughs> exactly what it's used for. So this this um, brush is actually for applying highlights. So you would use it right about here, over here your nose, the tip of your nose, mm -hmm. just adding your highlight. And I'm actually gonna show on the shell. Oh, okay. On me? We'll just use your arm. Okay. <laughs> highlight me, honey. Highlight your <laughs> arm. Okay, so this, um, we got this here from Sistar Cosmetics, their Lit and Glow palette. Lit and Glow, that's yes. so me. So we're gonna use this shade here, and what you would do is just go back and forth in a sweeping motion onto your highlight. I'm trying not to, I'm wearing all white. <laughs> I always have on all white. <laughs> 
I don't know. It's my thing. But yeah, so you just go back and forth onto your highlight. Yes. <laughs> and what you go ahead and just in sweeping motions. Look at that. Yes. Ooh, yeah, glisten in honey. Yes. Give me yes. more. More. <laughs> more. <laughs> but yeah, so you can use this uh, right around where you would highlight um, regularly, or you can even do your little clap coat. Yes. You know? Can right? You, can you hit me right there? Yes. Actually? Oh, sure, I can. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Get the little area, right? So you can use this anywhere. And since it's huge, large fan brush definitely using it around those areas mm -hmm. helps your shoulder add a little shimmer love it yes love it so yeah now these, these are brushes, brushes are exclusive like mm -hmm. we said um they are new new the new but new. remember just because they are cheaper and synthetic does yeah. not mean that they are not good quality mm -hmm. synthetic fiber is changing the, the game. game okay so definitely leave us a comment if you're interested on how you can get your hand on these brushes yes. and stay tuned for our next segment I hope you guys are enjoying the show. We'll be right back. Welcome back, neighbors. Hey. So I wanted to show you guys something, but Rob, I'm gonna need you to come a little closer. My uh, face is beat today, honey, so here come on in. Go. Don't here be ashamed. Go. You know I'm extra, girl. Yes, but very extra. Look at these edges, honey. They, they are, are lay. They are. It's lay. You're extra, but they are. <laughs> I am extra, but it is because of my Favorite edge tamer. Oh, yes. First touchdown. Touch and you know I've been talking about this for a for long time. time. Yeah. And here is the proof. Yes, and it looks really, really good. Thank you, so girl. Thanks for putting me on. Thank you. I did a yes. little bit of research, so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it. Okay. But first, I'm going to tell you guys what edge control is used for. Um, basically, laying your edges is a phenomenon that happened. It's, it's something that people do. A lot of bloggers, YouTubers, everybody that wears wigs mostly is gonna mess with their baby hairs a little bit, create that natural hairline, especially for people who aren't familiar with working with lace and don't wanna glue it down or anything like that, or even glue it down, but really wanna make it look more natural. So a lot of times you hear about people saying they're gonna lay their baby hairs. That's what we're talking about today. Um, and you can also do that with your natural hair. So it's a win-win all around for different hairstyles. Now, in order to do that though, you will need some type of gel or something that you would use to really help with that. And gel's not just gonna cut it on its own. Pomade's not gonna cut it on its own because it's very, very sticky. It gives you that sticky feeling. So you need something like an edge tamer, which is a conversion of the two. And that is what gets you the nice, sleek look that you need. Um, gel won't slick it down, all right? So it, it just doesn't do it. One or the other doesn't do it. You actually need both. So that's what Edge Tamer is. And um, in former days, products like uh, Slick Stuff and Let's Jam. We all know Damn, about Let's oh Jam. Gosh, you you had a little on, jelly look. Then it gets hot. And you and shake just, it. Oh, and then we, yeah, it was exactly a mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you know that gel won't cut it by itself. You definitely need something thicker. So they've come up with all kinds of versions. Different, that, that, excuse me. Ooh, sorry. Different companies have come up with their version of edge control. She's preaching, y'all. She preaching about this edge control. All right, yes. Getting her tongue twisted. Yes, okay. yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> but, <lot. Yes. laughs> but definitely you need an edge control to do this. So it's very important that I break it down how it works. So you make sure you do your research and find you a good edge control. Like first touchdown. Like first touchdown. So now that I've told you what edge control is and what laying your baby hairs is, I'm going to now tell you about our the Miss product right here that Miss Nichelle loves I love. so much. Yes. But it is actually a really great product. So first off, it's infused with tea tree and argan oil. So that's a plus already, a bonus for me, because mm -hmm. we're all about promoting and sharing with you guys products and what is in the products, of course, especially if it's good stuff for you guys. So that's a A1 plus. Um, it's also non-flaking mm -hmm. and it tames frizz. Yes. So and have you had that? That's actually one of my favorite features okay. about this product is because when I do it on my natural hair, my natural hair is very curly. Right. So when I use like certain products on my baby hairs, they just curl right, right up. Yeah. But this actually leaves them nice and sleek. That is a plus, you guys, yes. because it's a big thing with, mm -hmm. with edge controls. That's how you determine if it's good or not. Yes. If it doesn't hold, like you said, we were talking about the jam, and mm -hmm. it would hold for a little bit, but then Whew, it's back it's up. It's running down your face yeah, like no, Jerry no, Curl no. Juice. Yeah, girl. Yeah, terrible, so but. that is that's the main reason <laughs> yes. we need that. So that is a plus. Um, it's also, get this, antibacterial. Mm. And how often do you hear about that in a product? I mean, you may hear it in a product, but an edge, edge control, control, like nobody's really nah. thinking of that. Yeah. But it is antibacterial, so it's good 
good for cleaning your edges and it keeps the dirt and residue out. That's a plus because you don't want to keep seeing like a whole lot of residue around or your build edges, up, build yeah, up, the, yeah. all of that. So that's a plus. Um, it also nourishes your hair and keeps the moisture. Yes. That's a plus because you said you use it for your natural hair as well. I do. Right. So I using do. it for our weaves may not, doesn't really do too much, but for your natural hair, it's a big Edges all plus. 2019, ladies. Yes, we need edges them. Edges all 2019. Okay. So <laughs> a little TLC for your edges. Edges are in trend. They are. <laughs> always. <laughs> always going to be in trend. Um, it's also a clear gel with a soft. Scent. You guys. It smells so good. It smells so good. Yes. It reminds I, me of that Drake so line. Good. Your hair smell like that. Your hot your body look nice. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She's a mess. Yes. It smells but it's so good. Just like that. Seriously, they all smell so good. So I really, really love that. Um, and it's not too harsh. It's very, very clean. And then lastly, but not least, of course, because we want this. It's not sticky. Yeah. It's not sticky. So you can definitely go yeah. ahead and touch it. Go ahead. It's firm. It when you look at it, it yep. looks firm. Yep. But then when you pull it out and work it in, yes. it's nice and soft. It it's really not is. sticky at all. But it still lays down the edges. Yes. Now, of course, everyone has their own style of doing right. baby hairs. Yep. I like to be a little extra with mine, of course. As and you I guys like to keep it a little know. natural, just kind of down, you know. Yeah, no. Nah. The way down. Mm -mm. No, she but, likes it extra. <laughs> but <laughs> I want to show you a video from one of our favorite YouTube bloggers on how she lays her baby hair yes. and hopefully this will help you all. Yeah. You guys see all these goodies on the table? Mm -hmm. If you want to earn one, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Mm -hmm. And not only that, every 500 subscribers we're going to do another giveaway. You know how we do. Yes. <laughs> Okay, ladies, so to continue with our 2019 trend guide, mm -hmm. I wanna give you guys a little bit of tea, okay? When dating a man or looking for a man to date, you have to pay attention to the details. Okay. Look at his hands, look at his shoes, and look at his beard. I told y'all she's extra today. Yes, okay, this is, this is some real tea right yes, here, is. okay? All right. We want continue. real men for 2019, okay? True. So, remember that details brush that we told you guys mm -hmm. about a couple of shows ago? Well, we're talking about the beard oil that you have to have accompanied with the brush. Yes. And Liz, you had your husband try the he beard oil, right? He did try the beard oil. And, and he loved it. He did. Okay. And I love it too because I love the smell. I love when he's smelling good. Mm -hmm. And he loved it because it was really hydrating. So, okay. Yeah, so definitely a plus. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, like you said, we talked about the detailed brush, but we didn't really go into details. Mm hmm. Pun intended. But we're definitely going to talk about it today because in order to talk about the beard oil, we have to bring up the brush. They go hand in hand mm -hmm. to get the look. So a little history, brief history. Uh, Caucasian males, when they first started out with the brushes, it was for their beard. Mm -hmm. All right. So they started out basically the wave brush mm -hmm. that this is what we're talking about here. It started out as a beard brush for okay. Caucasian males. Right. And they would use it for their beard because it's funny enough, their hair is straight, mm -hmm. but their beards were kinky textured like our hair. Yeah. So in order to create a straight look and get their beards to look long, they needed a brush. Mm -hmm. um, and they would just use their sebum by brushing from their face into the beard to create that nice curl pattern or S curl pattern. Mm -hmm. And S curl pattern for our brothers is what they want in their waves, exactly. right? That's how they get their waves. Mm -hmm. And they think it's coming from their do-rags, but really they need an oil okay. to create that. So mm -hmm. the oil together with the wave brush is what creates those waves that they want. Okay. But they're also now using it for their beards. Mm -hmm. So now we have a nice detailed brush for that and an oil to match and okay. oil to go with it. So we're gonna be talking about our Second Nature Beard Oil. And it's actually a beard and hair oil. Okay. So you can actually use it in both. And they have some really good products in here. One in particular is the hemp seed oil. It's very, very good. And it clings to the hairs and creates that S curl pattern that I was talking about. Right. So you definitely need a beard oil, like I said. And this one is 100% organic, mm -hmm. all right, which we love. We're always promoting organic products. Mm -hmm. And like I said, together with the brush, we'll give you that nice S curl. Okay. Yes. So... Finally, my wishes have come true in 2019, and we have a male model in we the do. building. We do. To test the product himself. Now, unfortunately, ladies, I could not convince the team to let him do it with his shirt off, but that's okay <laughs> because it's all about. She really thought the that beard. was happening. <laughs> I did. I did. It's all about the beard. So, Justin, welcome yes. into the show. Justin. Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks we for see coming. That you have a beard. Yes, you do. Nice do. waves going on. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> don't okay. be nervous. Yeah. Don't be nervous. We're so excited to have you in to test the product. Yes. So tell us a little bit about your experience with waves and growing out your beard. 
Well, I've recently just started growing my beard within the last few years. Because mm -hmm. um, I used to have a job where I, I had to shave, mm -hmm. clean shave. So I started growing it out and just started experimenting, seeing how long it would get. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, it took a while to fill in right around the corners of my mm -hmm. mouth. But once I filled in, uh, you just need a good barber that'll help you. Mm -hmm. um, just recommend good products and mm -hmm. it'll tell you how to moisturize it, keep it keep it clean and keep it picked out, nice. keep it combed out. So. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. But I am looking for a good oil to use. Okay. So yeah, I was going to say, what do you look for in a, in a beard oil? I just look for something that, that's, uh, that feels good, mm -hmm. smells good, mm -hmm. and it keeps your beard moisturized. Awesome. So, so well, this, this oil right here might be it. This so is okay. the answer. Go ahead and try it out for us and let us know what you think about the touch, the feel, the smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it opening? I was gonna say, let me do it, just like a man. <laughs> All right, how many drops do you usually use? Just maybe two or three. Take okay. your time with it. Listen, <laughs> she's a mess. It smells Ooh. good. You can good. smell the peppermint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. How's it feel? It feels good. Not with the music. She's a mess. <laughs> And then you get a little extra shine. That always is a plus. Yeah, I can yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah, I see that so, added shine. Yes, yeah. it's popping. Okay, go ahead. Try it with the brush. Don't okay. be scared now. Listen. <laughs> okay. Okay, Rob, make sure you get this in slow motion. Slow motion, please. Okay, ladies. So what are you thinking? What are you thinking about the brush? Does it feel good? Is it working? Yeah, the, uh, the texture is good just mm -hmm. for the, the amount of length that I have in it. Okay. Um, but you also just want to see how the uh, how it moisturizes once you pick it out. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, good. All right. That's good. It, feels, it smells good. It smells really nice. good. Nice. So. so go ahead, Justin. Why don't you try it in your hair? Okay. I see the difference in your beard already. It's looking yeah. nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. And ladies, while he's doing that, remember my tip. The sharp image of a man comes from the details, okay? Yeah, we does. want detailed men all 2019. <laughs> so thank you, Justin, so much for joining us. Thank, thank you to you, all of our sponsors. Yes. Thank you, Liz, of yes. course, for always thank joining you. me. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yes. Check out our giveaways and goodies. Mm -hmm. And definitely, if you guys want to be featured, make sure you tag us yes. in any of your things that you post on Instagram, and you can be featured on our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. And thank you, guys. And make sure you stay tuned for episode five Bye. of Hey Neighbor. Yes. Bye, neighbors. Bye, neighbors. <laughs> <laughs>